Hey guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to be doing a plus 15 theater of pain. I'm going to be doing a live commentary, which is a bit different from you know my previous ones where in my previous videos I've always done a voiceover, right? So this is going to be me, you know, doing the dungeon live, like I'm here right now, moving my character. So I'm gonna be doing it live instead of voicing over. So you can get my, you know, my first reaction of a pug tank. This is a pug group. Um, I don't know anyone in this group, so I, I cannot, like, I'm not in the voice of the tank either. I don't know what he's going to pull, so hopefully this will help, right? The first thing, I'm going to make sure I have all my consumables. Um, I'm going to buy food real quick. I, I, I buy steak, I buy verse food because it's very cheap. It's 8 gold, right? So I just buy a lot of verse food. Cheap, you don't have to worry about it. I have a mailbox, get it. Cool. So I'm going to make sure I'm buffed. Uh, I have armor kit. I have weapon oil. I'm going to flask up. I'll pop, I'll pop a rune for no reason. And uh, I'll go inside and I'll eat my food buff. I'll drop. You know, it's a pug group, right? No one has food. And I'm going to drop, um, you know, a food or a tail for my healer. And hopefully my healer picks it up if he needs it. Um, eat, eat my steak food. Or my verse food. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, so we'll see what our tank pulls, right? If there's a few ways that tanks go about it, right? If they completely skip it, then obviously you combust the boss, right? But if he pulls three mobs only without the one, then I would still combust. Um, The only time I would not combust the first pull is if your tank was to shroud these three and then pull this single guy, okay? So, you know, we'll, we'll see what our tank does. Right now, we're waiting for the key to start. I'll, I'll explain it when I'm in the key, right? If, if he does four, you can bust. If he does three, you can bust. If he does one, I would hold it. So, because in this, in this dungeon, you always want to lust the first boss. So, lusting the first boss, you will get a lot of flame strike value from flame patch, right? Like, hard casting flame strike on three targets is good when you lust. So, even if you don't have cooldowns, Using Bloodlust on that pack will kind of, on the on the boss, will kind of carry your damage if you don't have cooldowns on pull, right? And so right now, we're just waiting for the key to start. I'll just skip ahead to where, you know, the key starts. Go. Okay, so our tank has finally done a pull timer. Me. Each. Means it's our time to pull. You know, usually you could have asked your tank, like you could ask your tank what he's going to pull first. But we're, we're just going to, you know, see how it plays out, right? So this first pack... Put this Ritualist on your focus so that you can kick it. Uh, I'm going to kick this first cast. So he's doing both, which is not bad. I should, I'm gonna, I forgot the Mirror's Image, so I'm just going to Mirror's Image mid combust. It was a mistake on my end, but you know, make sure you Mirror's Image because it's a pug. You don't know when you're going to pull aggro. And just do an AoE Combust, right? I can just put, put my Combust on cooldown. Look for 30% targets and spam Scorch and Flame Strike. This guy's freshly below 30, so I'm going to swap to him. Everything's dying, so I pyro at the end. Uh, this first pack, I always pre-pot. Always pre-pot the first pack. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put this guy in my focus, Pasaren. I'll explain why in a second. Plus first pack and spam flame strike, right? So Pasaren, this guy that I marked as blue, the guy that starts on the left, he will port out of the group. Just like that. And if you kick him, he'll go back in the pack and he'll get cleaved. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to assign two range to kick him. In my push group, we assign two range to infinitely kick Pasaren when he teleports out. So right now, okay, someone actually kicked him. The, the, the Feral actually kicked him. He actually kicked a, a guy, so that's good. So... I'm gonna, my next kick, I'm gonna pay attention to this guy porting out, the blue, right? So I'm gonna wait for him to port out, he ports out, I'm gonna wait for his cast, and kick it. He kind of moved in anyways, but just always make sure you CS that cast. Okay, I got some mechanics here. I'm gonna alter time out of this, just in case my health drops, I'm gonna alter back. Try and get out of there. Okay. I'm gonna ruin a power. 
Alright, this guy's below 30%, so I'm gonna be spamming Scorch Flame Strike. This boss kind of got melted. This group owns, actually. Oh my god. This group is actually insane. This pug group. But, um. So. A scorch and just kill everything, right? Um, so if, if you died anywhere on the boss or the first pool, right now is the best time to get a food buff, right? So. Anyone right now, if they died, should have gotten a food buff. Okay, so the, the shaman typed in chat, Gore Shop Wing, I can't dispel disease. I think it's fine though. I mean, because we have a monk, right? Assuming this monk can dispel disease. Should be fine. So we'll pay attention to where our tank goes. We're going to target our tank. He's going this way. He's going this way. So my combust is up. I'm going to mirror image and combust this. Just to throw it on cooldown. So I'm, just, I'm having a little targeting issue there. My targeting has kind of been trolling me recently. Oh, he, he changed the pack in. R regardless if he changed the pack in or not, I would still combust just to send it. This is just like a bonus, right? Um, I'm going to try to flame strike these two. These, they dropped Sangmine, so I kind of want to keep it away from the big guy. It's fine. He dies. He dies. Oh my god, our shaman just narrowly lived at one HP. That's nice job. He lives. Um. So we're just single target. I'm gonna drop my rune of power because my I want to get a rune of power in between this. Let's try to step out of that. Okay. So apparently I did not dodge that, but it's fine because at a 15 it doesn't one shot. If that was you know a few levels higher, that would have for sure one shot me. In hindsight, I should have I should have blinked away like this. But I tried to finish a cast. But yeah, I should have I should have blinked. Um my next combust is probably gonna be whatever the next pull is. This guy's at 100 k so I'm definitely gonna hold my combust. Um Yeah, so my mirror is in twenty, so I mean I have to, I have to watch for aggro this pack. So I'm gonna press my trinket. And fireball, com double fire blast combust. This is prideful, so I will hold my. I will pretty much. I think I'm pretty sure the way this cooldown lines up is that I will get. Hold on, one second, one second. I will get. A combust on the pack after prideful i'm pretty sure the way this lines up if my healer really needs me to you can combust prideful but i think it's only if you really really need to combust prideful right like if you don't need the combust to live i think it's more efficient you can bust something else but if you need it to live then i think it's good i get this little axe like alter time apparently it doesn't even like hurt me though so it's fine we get prideful here. I could combust this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna mirror's image this. So instead of combusting, I'm just gonna like kind of make up for it with a dr, a damage reduction, which is my mirror's image. Um, I'm gonna look for this circles. This thing's actually getting smoked. This uh, this prideful is getting torn apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, save all my fire blasts. I don't have Rune of Power, or Mirror's Image, excuse me. So I'm going to, oh, careful of aggro. On this pack, I'm going to single target this guy down. If he dies too quickly, then I'm going to instantly swap to an AoE Combust. It's like right now, I'm going to swap to AoE because the big the big guy died, right? If I get kicked on nature, it's fine. I'm going to Health Pot there because I got low. Health Pot for sure. This pack is one of the scariest ones in the game, so you want to keep aware of that. So, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get, uh, actually, I don't know, we'll see. This, this group is kind of fast. I signed up for a pug key, but I feel like this group is sick. Or maybe it's just because Windwalkers are sick. I mean, the tank is sick too. This group owns. I want to try to sneak it, if this was, a, if this dies slower, I'd combust this, but, and I'm, I think I can still get a combustor. We'll see the like 
how long it takes to die. Our monk does not have touch of death. So I can kind of assume that he's not going to touch of death this. Hopefully I get a crit here. Yeah, I'm just going to send my combustor. Just to throw it on cooldown. Because I think I'll get it on top for the boss. So. So I started with not a many Phoenix Flames in that combust. So I kind of had to... Uh, I didn't start with a lot of feeding slimes, so I had to scorch at the end of the combust, right? But that's it, it just a, it's better if you just put it on cooldown. Not having enough feeding slimes is not the end of the world, right? And after I kill that boss, I'm going to or that little mini boss, I was going to shifting power because I want to rush my combust back for a, having on pull for the boss. Our monk still does not have touch of death. Touch of death is actually really important to track, in my opinion, because. So this is going to die very quick, it seems like. Hopefully I can have my combust on pull. There's travel time. 15 seconds? God, I hope this lines up. I hope this lines up. This, it might not line up, but you know, we'll see. Uh, if I just get a couple crits here on Fireball. Just one crit, one crit. Yeah, we're good. One crit. I'm going to combust. I'm not going to swap to the ad if I have- Because I think everyone has cooldowns on pull. I mean, prideful. So I'm going to assume that it's going <coughs> to die quick. Um, Blink out of the frontal. Dragon's Breath right there because it was a, you know, quaking came. Chicken Pie right after. I got picked. So in this, regardless if you win, if you want to win or not, I just want to fireball this guy. I, it doesn't matter. Like right now, it doesn't really matter who kills who. But even if the other, you want to let the other person win, then um, you still just want to farm combust. This guy, honestly, this guy should have just killed me. I think it was better if he just killed me. But regardless, you should fireball him to get combust reset, right? If this boss was gonna live a, I I don't think I'm gonna get a combust here because this boss is kind of dead. Okay, one person just died. It's fine though. I think it's fine. I don't think we have touch of death. So, I'm actually just going to assume our monk is going to touch a death. I think we should swap to the banner. We'll see. I can see the monk is targeting the boss still. So, I'm just going to target the boss because I'm going to assume the monk is going to touch a death. He actually did. Nice, nice. See? So, that's why tracking party cooldowns is actually very important because I saw this monk was going to touch a death. <clears throat> so we're going to see where our tank's going to go. Night Fae to get ahead. Looks like he's going to pull a lot of these mobs. and we'll, Depending on how many he pulls, will we combust or not? If he pulls f just five, he's pulling six. So I'm going to definitely combust this. Mirror's image so I can hit them early. And I'm going to send my cooldown here. Get a kicker and the shifting power. They will drop Sanguine, so everyone's going to have to be careful here. But... Yeah, well, it's probably going to be fine. They all died really quick because me and the monk do a lot of damage, apparently. Windwalker monk is actually very, very strong. It's actually impressive how strong monks are. I kicked the same thing as that guy. That's probably my mistake. I shouldn't have kicked. It's okay. I'm going to drop a ring of frost just to stop some casts. Stop anything, right? Just to throw it. Put it on cooldown, right? Hard cast flame strike right here. This mob is below 30, so I'm going to scorch off of it. Um, this is not prideful, but I can get a combust on this if I shifting power, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to shifting power right now because it just came up, get my combust back and I'm going to send my combust. We have another curse to spell in here, so I don't need to spell the curse. Oh my God. We all, okay. This is dying so quick. Okay. That's fine. That's fine happens. I don't know what feral cooldowns are, but I guess it's convoke, right? Maybe maybe it's convoke. Okay, so these I'm gonna instantly spell still both of them. Because if yeah it's really good for mages to spell still because this shield is actually so much. 
Uh, I'm gonna look to kick a bone spear. This guy, I'm gonna kick this guy's bone spear. Bone spear is the only important kick in these these packs. And so this this group is actually a very fast group. So the the pace that this group is going is we're kind of on a two chest pace. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I could actually I think I'm going to rush my combust back here. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna cast shifting power and see where my combust comes. Um, I think I can. I'm gonna combust this because it's gonna be leading into a uh, into what's it called? Into prideful. Right? If you look at my percent, I'm pretty sure prideful's coming. Like always, try to look for prideful. Gonna get a kick here. Okay. This is gonna be prideful for sure. I'm gonna use mirror's image. For the damage reduction. I don't, I don't have cooldowns for Prideful, so I want to make it up to my healer. By giving him, you know, a damage reduction myself. Try to help try to help with Prideful as best you can. If you can't do damage to it. Our, our, mon our monk has Touch of Death. So, it's kind of safe to assume he'll use it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stand still. Alright, the monk is gonna- yeah, he, he touched a death it. Um, I think? Hmm. So the way this works out is- Oh, we're doing this big pull again. Okay, wait, what is this trash? Wait, what is this? Uh, I'm gonna spell still this. I'm gonna shifting power my combust back just to have it up. I'm gonna flame strike just to kill the scary mobs. Kick the bone spear. Bone spear is the scariest- here. Our healer died. It says he has onk, so I'm gonna see if he onks. I think he does. That's good. Um I'm gonna rebuff him with intellect. Yeah, I've actually never pulled that mob before. So I I didn't know that was a thing. I honestly I I I did not know that mob I didn't know what that mob does. Spells to this guy, of course. Always spells to these as fast as you can. The important kick in this pack. Is Bone Spear, that just went off on our healer, right? See how I went to 1%? Is Bone Spear and the Volley. So, the Bone Spear is casting. I'm gonna wait till the end. I kicked it because it's gonna go off. So, this means this Soul Miner needs to be kicked on Volley. So, you wanna watch out for that as a mage. Bone Spear's gonna go off? Okay, it's good. Now, this guy's gonna cast Volley. If this goes off, it's, we're in trouble. This Shaman is the only kick, but I think we actually infinitely CC'd it. I think we're fine. I'll just pull my curse. This guy's been sitting in sanguine, but it, it is what it is. I'm just gonna shifting power because I'm pretty sure I'll still get another use for my next combust. My next combust, because you know what pride for here should be on the boss. Um Theater Pin is not the best dungeon for Mage. Because there's a lot of weird packs. So, I'm just gonna hit the thing before everyone else. Ooh, apparently, so I think when you're in this, you're actually immune to damage. So, it's actually pretty good if you, you know, immune to damage like that. So, I'm going to pre mirror's image over here. I'm going to press my potion right about when he gets over here. And we're gonna lust potion trinket. We got a quaking, so I'm gonna wait. Fireball, double, fire blast, combust. I'm going to use two Phoenix Lanes before this fire blast, and then the Scorch fire blast. I'm gonna go to this one. One thing to okay, so this is a problem: is if you get quaking in there, that can actually troll you guys really hard. So that was probably my fault, but I should have gone to a different hands than this peril, right? So this monk's gonna go over there. Well, I'm gonna go over here. So when Quaking comes, okay, Quaking just skipped. But if Quaking came, we'd be safe, right? So, uh... This boss, we have Touch of Death. So the boss is gonna die quicker than normal. I'm gonna go... He's going, he's going over there, so I'm gonna go over here. We'll see how he goes right there and I go here. 
so that our quaking doesn't quake each other, right? Because you can kill each other with that. I'm not going to use the combust, so I'm going to use a rune of power and dump my, like, procs. Right? I'm going to dump everything, right? I'm going to dump some of the Phoenix Flame. And probably dump one more Phoenix Flames right here. And just scorch, scorch. So, uh... Wow. Yeah, this, this group I'm in is actually very, very good. <laughs> like... If there was a class that was the beat mage, it's for sure a Windwalker Monk. Windwalker Monk's very solid right now. Oh, mirror's image, naturally. And start combusting. Shifting power early on because these are little mobs. If you want to, you know, snipe a little damage, then it's obviously helpful. If, if I have it, like, one tip I have is. If you're fighting mobs that have like you know non-elite HP, it's better to shifting power early on so you kinda I guess yoink the damage is the best way to put it. I'm gonna shift I'm gonna try to throw a couple big explosions in where I see a mob get to 30. Get a flame strike off it, drag a cast just went off. So that was probably okay, I think two of them just went off. So that was probably my fault. This pack is going to maybe pull for too close, so I'm going to back up. Okay, the monk actually ringed, so that was good of him. That was good of him. This is actually going to be prideful here. And yeah, this is our prideful. I'm going to probably combust this prideful. I'll tell you why. Because I think, ne I'm pretty sure the next pull is going to be this three pack, and they're going to do a big pack. So that's my predictions. That's why I'm gonna combust this pride for you. Uh, Runa power, bring Runa powering and scorch phase is actually very, very keen to do because, you know, you get the scorch crits. So I'm going to try to position myself close so that when they jump, they're still close in my, uh, you know, flame patch range. One thing as a, that's really good as a mage you can do in this pack is Dragon's Breath the Devour Flesh, because what it does is it heals the mob, right? So as a mage, you can Dragon's Breath Devour Flesh, and if you do that, your tank will love you. I, I shit you not, your tank will love you. I'm going to shift my power back because I'm, I'm not sure the cooldown right now. I probably didn't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it just anyways, so that I make sure my combust is back. I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have done that because I think we're gonna have to wait, unless he just holds W. So if he holds W in this scenario, and I have combust, I'm honestly gonna hold it, because we have prideful. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, this guy, I think our druid had cooldowns. I guess, yeah, I think frail druid cooldowns is convoke. Or, I mean, that's one of them, right? Has to be. The next pack I'm going to combust. I'm going to mirror his image so that I can just, like, kind of do damage as fast as possible. Mirror his image. In the melee, combust. And just do damage as fast as possible. Remember, shifting power early because there's little mobs in here. Try to Dragon's Breath to Devour Flesh if you can, but I mean, the pack just dies, so. We'll see. I think our tank pulls it back. Pull it back is fine. Let's single target it down. This is an example of a key where, most of the time, this is an example of a key where Mage can struggle to find incre incredible value because we're kind of crushing this key as a group. Like, we're actually on a, I think we might two chest this. We'll see, though. There's a high chance we can two chest this. The bosses are one minute long with this group. Okay, so, most of the time in a key where you go fast like this, you get less combustion combust casted in a key. So, the the value of a mage kind of falls. That's why, like, you know, people say in lower keys, mage isn't as, like, good. I'm going to shifting power for my combust back so I can have instant right here. I'm going to, so I can open on these instantly. 
Just so I can, you know, I want to make sure I'm doing damage to the health bar as early as possible. I'm going to watch out for aggro. Okay. Yeah, so we're, if we invis, if we, if this group had invis pots, we would two chest. Or if we can skip this two pack, but I'm not sure. I mean, I guess our group, only people who need invis are the, dr the shaman and the monk. <clears throat> But I actually think we might just be fine anyways. I'm pretty sure we just two chest anyways. Oh, we're pulling it in. Okay, uh, was not ready for this one. Okay. Uh, just gonna flame strike, I guess? Gotta dodge those lines? The pride is about to fall at 30%. I'm actually gonna press an emergency mirror's image. When it falls at 30%. Okay, at this point, the pride field kind of needs to die. I'm shifting power. I get kicked, it's fine. You get kicked on nature, so it's not that big of a deal. I think it's kind of crazy if you're pulling that. So, like I said, in this butcher, watch for the devour flesh. If you stop devour fleshes, I promise you, your tank will notice you. Like, just devour flesh, I stop it. Your tank, your tank will notice you for sure. Like, tanks are usually always paying attention to that. So it looks like we still do get our combust. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna wait my, my fire blast to recharge a bit before combusting. <clears throat> because I'm gonna plant right here, I'm gonna mirror's image. So I can start and go. Which means, if I get yoinked, I can just mirror's image, er, alter time back, sorry. Excuse me. Just like this. I can kind of move around in my rune. I'm gonna get into melee so I can dragon threat them. Um, okay, we're just crushing, dude. Okay, this comp is insane for single target. Oh my god, we're 30 seconds into a fight. Okay, it is what it is. Best way to dodge this, stand literally anywhere you want and just blink through it as a mage. Don't, don't matter where you are, just blink through it, right? Get in melee for the shifting power so that you can get the damage on these adds off. I'm gonna Phoenix Flames? Okay, they, he leaped away. I tried, right? Like I said, the mob is an execute, so I'm going to... I got hit. I got hit. Okay, it happens. Right? At least I live. Because I, I do that, I would... You know... I'd press HP pot if I had one, but I don't. Yeah, we're, we're actually going to chew two chests this in this group, so... That's a pretty interesting one. I wasn't ready for this. I thought this would be a harder key. But this group is actually pretty strong. Our Windwalker Monk kind of owns. Everyone in this group is actually very geared. So this is, yeah, in a key like this where you... You kind of go very fast, it's hard to find a lot of value from age, but... You gotta try your best to make it work, right? You gotta try your best, because usually in a high key that, like, where the, the timer is down to the wire, like, down to the last minute of the key, you'll kind of get a combust every other pack, but in a key where you're going very, very fast, you might get a combust every other two packs, right? So, uh, Lust is in 27, so I'm gonna try to hold it for my... I'm gonna hold it for my second... Actually, I think we might just kill this boss anyways. With, in like a minute, so it probably doesn't matter. I probably should just combust on CD, because this is a key we're blasting, right? So this is something I like to do. I don't like to shift in power instantly, because what's going to happen <clears throat> is he's going to summon all these adds, right? And to cleave these adds, what I like to do is I like to shift in power these adds. So I'm going to set them up like this, and the shifting power. Try to cleave them out, right? I'm going to blink again so that I'm repositioned better, and use shifting power to purely cleave them. I'm going to lust right now. I think at this pace, I'll get my combust in the lust still. So he's casting that at 50% he casts an AoE. I, I press barrier right there. Um let's see. I think I can get one more combust in this fight. Yeah, I will for sure get one more combust. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna get my last combust here. And honestly the boss is gonna die very quick. Now that I'm combusting. Oh, this is actually a pretty convenient combust. Maybe right when the ads come out. 
I'm gonna throw one flame strike. Actually, okay, I didn't get a flame strike proc. He's gonna do a frontal, yeah. So there's a frontal. I'm watching for the frontal. Um, start to fall. It's okay. We're gonna kill the boss anyway. So I'm gonna shifting power, finish off the boss. Boom. And we actually have two chests in this key. So, um, as you can see in the overall, sometimes you don't always top overall, right? Um. Theater of Pain is not the best dungeon for Mage, so if you're not first overall in Theater of Pain, I would not even ever stress about it, or like, if you, if you feel like you're doing bad damage in Theater of Pain, I don't, I don't think it's like, something you should worry about at all. It happens to many people, right? Theater of Pain is just a low target dungeon. It's not that good for Fire Mage in that sense, right? So, but yeah, um, I hope this video was helpful. This was the first live commentary I've done. This, all my other ones have been voiceovers, so if this was helpful, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I hope to get more of these done. Next week, I'm able to craft um, Arcane Bombardment, so I can start doing Arcane Dungeons. And I'm also crafting Glacial Fragments on my alt, my, Ven my Venthyr alt. So I can start doing some, you know, Frost Dungeons, because, you know, Frost recently got buffed 9%. So we'll see how good Frost is after that. Personally, I don't think... Because I think Fire and Arcane are, are, are already really insane. So I don't think it will be up there, but it's definitely going to be where it should be, right? It's going to be a lot better. So um, have a good, have a good night, guys, and thank you for watching.